once and for all, thank you, Jaime. I think you do a great job in informing the city of El Paso. You blog me, I blog you. I want to talk about it straight up, and once and for all, this religious quote-unquote issue, okay? I am not running as a Christian minister. I am running because of my values, which are Christian values. Now, that value that I stand on is the only part of the religion, quote-unquote, that you will be affected by when I become city council and so forth, is the love thy neighbor, respect thy neighbor, treat your neighbor as you would like to be treated yourself. That's the part of my religion, quote-unquote, that motivates me and is good for the city. Who can argue against treating your neighbor as you would want to be treated, okay? So I don't want people to think, oh, there's that religious guy again. Let me tell you something. Everybody has a worldview, and a religion at its basic root, at its root definition, is a worldview. It's a set of values, and I want you to understand... I want people to understand very carefully that religion in its root definition is a set of values. And who in the right mind would argue against the set of values in which you love your neighbor as yourself? So that's what I stand for, and that's the part of my belief system that will affect my, my uh, governing the city and representing the city and so forth. As a matter of fact, I go as far as to say that anyone who does not believe in loving and respecting your neighbor as yourself is a greater danger than a religious guy, quote-unquote, as some critics claim that I am. Which, which I am not. So I, I just want to clarify that, and I thank you for giving me a chance to clarify that. When I say vote Christian, I mean vote Christian values, okay? And, and those values are good for anyone, no matter their denomination. Thank you, Jaime. You do a great job. You're an inspiration to me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>